First Lieutenant Curtis Biddick, known as Kurt in Masters of the Air, is a rememberable character and prominent pilot in the first three episodes of the series. He meets his untimely demise during the Regensburg mission while trying to crash land his heavily damaged B-17 in a field, unwilling to leave his mortally wounded co-pilot, Richard Snyder. But what really happened to Biddick and his crew? Well, it was much worse than what was portrayed in the show. Biddick was actually flying for Lieutenant William Flesh, who was on leave during the Regensburg mission. Biddick and his usual bombardier, Lieutenant Dan McKay, joined the crew of the B-17 Escape Kit for the August 17, 1943 mission. Flying in the second element of the lead squadron, they endured hours of flak and fighter attacks as they flew over occupied Europe to their target deep within Germany. About 40 miles northwest of Regensburg, their bomber was jumped by German 109 fighters. Cannon shells exploded in the right side of the nose and fuselage, killing the top turret gunner, Tech Sergeant Lawrence Godby, and igniting an intense oxygen system fire on the flight deck. In the nose, bombardier Dan McKay recalled hearing muffled explosions behind him and turned around to see that navigator, Lieutenant John Dennis, was gone. He already bailed. Six feet behind his seat, the oxygen tanks were all on fire and spewing like a blowtorch. McKay could feel the skin on his face cracking and backed up as much as possible, but it was too hot and painful. He made a desperate dash through the fire to the escape hatch. He was getting burned either way. He dived as low as he could and had to kick the handle upwards to get it open. He was semi-conscious as he jumped. His face was so burnt his eyes began to seal shut as he pulled the ripcord on his chute. Terribly burned, he was soon captured by the Germans. The flight deck was an inferno. With no other escape, Flight Officer Richard Snyder climbed through a hole in the side of the cockpit and stood on the right wing. Lieutenant Owen Roan, piloting his own B-17 in the high squadron and other men in the formation, watched in horror as Snyder jumped and opened his parachute in one motion. His body immediately struck the horizontal stabilizer and his chute then caught onto it. German Messerschmitt 109 pilot Leutnant Alfred Grzlowski of Jagdgeschwader 50 attacked Biddick's B-17 and observed its fate. As the bomber fell and slowly spun out of control, lower and lower, he saw the parachute caught on the tail with Snyder swinging from it. Later he saw as the bomber hit the ground and explode with huge blast waves. Biddick, Snyder, and Tech Sergeants Godby and Robert Decay were all killed in action. Considering the intensity of the fire, Biddick would have faced an excruciating descent before hitting the ground. The six other crew members bailed out over Germany and all became prisoners of war, many wounded. I think the true story of what happened to them would have been a much more intense watching experience than what was portrayed in the scene. It definitely was a much more viewer-friendly depiction of his end. I often wonder why drastic changes are made in film adaptations, but Biddick was at least portrayed as courageous and loyal until his end. I think that's the most important thing about the show, that we remember and learn about these men and their sacrifices.